what are the criteria for getting a really good grade on your app development website is professionalism, how professional it looks. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to insert links to other websites so that the links look the most professional. So, first step, I've asked you to create a developer tools subpage. Make sure that you go to your page and open up the developer tools page. Secondly, make sure that you have a tab where you have the links open that I want you to insert on your developer pools, tools page. First step is simply copying the title of that page. So our first one is going to be the Google Color Palette. Highlight it, copy it, go to your developer tools page, grab the edit pencil, and you're going to go to insert link. Choose web address, put the name of that website under the text to display box, and underneath that box is where the link goes. Go back to your developer tools page and simply highlight just that link. Control C or right click copy. Go to your developer tools page. Control V, and there you go. Now it's a little small, so I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to make all my developer tools at least 16 points. So once again, it's a very simple procedure. You're going to go to your list of sites, copy the title of the site, and then go to your web page. After grabbing the edit pencil, insert link, choose web address, text goes here, and back, grab the website, control C or right click copy. There we go, control V. Okay, oh, I got that in the wrong spot, didn't I? So let's try that one again. Control C, developer tools, control V, and OK. That is completely wrong. Your grade for your app development website will depend on how professional it looks. I'm going to show you how to insert website links so that they really look professional. So I've opened up my website and I've gone to the developer tools subpage. And that is good. And I'm going to go to the developer tools worksheet that I've shared with you. Step number one, highlight the title of the website. Control C or right click copy. Go to your developer tools page. The edit pencil is how you make changes. Insert link. Choose the second option, web address. Under text to display, copy the title of the web address and then go to the developer tools worksheet highlight the website, control C or right click copy, back to developer tools and in the link to this URL box simply copy that website. And I think I want all of my to be big enough that they're easy to see so I'm going to make that 16 font and save it. It's a very easy procedure. It makes things look good. And again, the basic steps, grab the edit pencil, developer tools, grab the title, control C, go to developer tools, 
and insert link choosing the second option web address insert the title and then go out and grab the link and there we go change the font so it all looks good make that 16 and now I'm going to go ahead and save it on one last note when you take the information for uh, the site you're going to use for iClipArt, you might want to copy the login information. Also, you're going to be downloading sound effects. And for that, you need to log on as this user. So copy that onto your website also. So copy all six links using the professional method I have shown you, including password information if needed.